Welcome to Wales. Um, it is not traditional weather for a day of yard jobs, but we're in Wales, so the weather is always like this. You either do it in this weather or it doesn't get done. So first on the list of jobs, oh, it's getting windier, is to put a big bale, a big haylage bale out for the horses. So dad's just gone to get the tractor. I'm gonna open one of the wrapped bales and we are going to give Zarina, Bumper and Qantas, we'll give you a little Qantas update, a big bale. This one, I choose you. on Qantas, he's actually doing surprisingly well. Um, his shoulder's still a little bit unstable, but he's sound on the flat. So, so far, so good. He's doing better than I thought he would. Okay. He's turned into a bit of a, a wild Welsh mountain pony, haven't you? Okay. What are you doing over there? It's raining. Look, it's all, it's all on the camera lens. Put the tractor away. And then, on to the next job of cleaning the lorry. Parked Connie up. Um, so, I don't know if you can see in the background. For Christmas, I asked for a pressure washer and Santa slash mum and dad delivered. So, I'm going to clean up the lorry and most excitingly hi dad it came with a foamy nozzle so i'm going to pressure wash it first i'm going to cover it in foam and then give it a clean and see if it's nice and shiny this is very unorthodox weather for cleaning vehicles in but what can you do it's wales <laughs>
foaming. I think I need to turn it up a little bit more to get that like satisfying, really foamy spray. And also, how do you use the brush? Because it goes on like the end of the, the trigger bit, but that makes it really short and I can't reach up. So maybe I need like a brush extension because I only brushed like half the lorry and I used it handheld. So I haven't done that properly. Maybe I should go on YouTube and look up like car detailing, cleaning tutorials. I'll get back to you on that. Um, but it's way, way cleaner. I'm not gonna do the inside because I've still got bedding down and stuff. Um, and I don't have any bedding here for when I travel them back home. So the inside will have to wait till another day, but she looks way better. Super shiny, ready for 2022. Oh, look, my new like yard gloves perfectly match my lorry. Matchy, matchy. Um, these were actually two pounds from the local farmer's place and they're really good super grippy they don't touch my phone screen so i've had to use my nose like to scroll um but i don't get my phone that out that much on the yard anyway so waterproof nice warm really tactile gloves for the win so yeah super happy with that connie the lorry is looking fine The other thing I got for Christmas, and I'm only showing you this because one, I'm excited, two, I love seeing what people get for Christmas, was, and thank you, Dan, so much for getting me these, because if you've been watching the channel for a little bit, I've maybe been doing some heavy hinting, but he got me some custom-made leather intercure chaps. So they're made to measure, they're in my colors, and I got them for Christmas. Um, which I'm very excited. I'm going to treat them, waterproof them first before I wear them. Um, but my other chaps are the same make and I've had them for like 11 years. So yeah, that's super exciting. And also my brother got me a sonic cleaner for my ring. Um, like a professional one, but I can also put bits and stirrups in. <laughs> Last yard job of the day is to feed Tizzy and Rue. Almost said Qantas then. Um, so yesterday, Rue did 15 kilometers of the hills and Tizzy did 10 kilometers. So they're having the day off. So it's just a day of yard jobs and kind of just chilling with family. Tomorrow, I'm actually gonna take Rue on a nice long 20, 30K. We'll see how he feels on the hills. Um, just as a, a nice, long, lovely training session in the hills because as of next week, his proper training schedule starts. So let's feed them. I bring all these buckets. So these buckets is like a mobile feed unit. So we've got Ease and Excel cubes, Ease and Excel mix. We have Billy's performance balancer, the British horse feeds, soaked speedy beet and sugar beet. We've got some um, joint supplement, and then the dried sugar beet and fibre beet and this is kind of how I travel so if I'm competing this is how I do all the feeds as well so let's make the feeds up <laughs> So to try and calm him down a bit, get him used to people touching him while he's eating, um, and also just checking his shoes on. So, oh boy. Oh please. One shoe. Come on. See, grumpy. Two shoes. Good boy. One. Oh please. No. Come on, grumpy monkey. Oh please. Three shoes. Last one. Oh, you ate it. Four shoes? Four shoes. Look at that fish. Look at the grumpy fish. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> it's hangry. 
and that's my jobs for the day done. Ponies fed, lorry washed, haylage out in the field, and Dan and Will have just got back from going on an off-road adventure on their bikes. This is Dad's bike. He drowned it in a river yesterday, so he's having to change the oil. Hi! How was your ride? Good. Oh, that's really enthusiastic. How was your ride? It's lovely. Great. Bye.